day, we get to connect with president and partner of Snake River Pool and Spa, Mr. Kyle Mueller. Hi, Kyle. Hey, Paul. Appreciate you guys having me on here and everybody out there. Hopefully there's millions watching. I'm sure there is with, with the chamber pool. <laughs> well, hey, I want to take an opportunity to connect with you. You guys are um, great friends of the chamber. You guys have been members since 1990 and also just great community uh, supporters. Um, Snake River Pool and Spa, why don't you tell us, Kyle, how long you guys have been in business and kind of how you guys got your start. Um, been in business since 1978 and uh, Jim Paxson, the founder and my partner in the company started it in Twin Falls, Idaho. Um, he actually started it, he was in the uh, irrigation business, if you will, as a young lad, a year out of high school and his uh, best friend's dad wanted to put a pool in. And so they, and he said, hey, Jim, you know how to do plumbing and stuff. And Jim's like, yeah, I can put a pool in. Didn't know what he was doing, put a pool in. And that friend's dad had other friends. And then he did another pool and another pool. And pretty soon he did hot tubs. And at that time, hot tubs were just inserts. They weren't portables like they are now. You, you put it in like a pool. You put the insert in and then you had the plumbing outside. And uh, so that was June, I believe, of 1978. And he's been running it strong for the last 42 years. And uh, we're in Twin Falls, Boise, and Meridian. Wow. That is a great story. I love those stories of, you know, hey, you know how to do this, put it together. And you're like, oh, I was pretty good at this. Why don't we start a business? Wow. Exactly. So 42 years have gone by. Tell us a little bit about some of the new services and products that you guys carry. Well, you know, obviously it started with the pools, like we said, then the hot tubs, which were brand new. In 1978, the first portable hot tub was made um, and then became a thing. And over the years, uh, billiard tables, pool tables, you know, we got Brunswick and Olhausen, two of the largest and best names in, in the industry, um, familial sauna, swim spas are a big thing over the last probably five, six years, you know, but you got a swim spa, similar to a pool, but you don't have to swim laps and you keep it heated and use it year round. And that's been one of the biggest new things out there. And then a, another fun thing that we've just brought in recently to go along with our game tables, if you will, is... Uh, Vintage arcade games. Oh. So the kind that you and I used to play, you're a little younger than I am, but used to play at the arcade back when we were kids, the Donkey Kong and Pac-Mans and, and all those different ones. We've got a 60-in-1 arcade unit now, either a cocktail table you can sit at or stand up where you can play 60, There's scroll through 60 different games. We just brought those in, uh, and that's been a huge hit. Those are a lot of fun. Those would be great Christmas presents for everybody. As a matter of fact, uh, my wife came in not too long ago and saw it, and her favorite game was on there. Said, so guess who's buying one for Christmas for his wife? <gasps> That'd be me. Do you guys yeah. have Galaga? Yep, Galaga. That's her favorite game. What? Galaga, Galaga 1, 2, and 3. I don't know anything about 2 and 3, but, yeah, the original Galaga, that's her game. She It's the only video game she beats me at, so that's what we play. <laughs> I had no idea. Okay, I'm gonna ask my wife. Okay, cool. We've been wanting to do that. So, um, pandemic, right? Shut yep. everybody down. Yeah. Everybody was playing inside, doing landscaping in their backyards, trying to put pools up. Um, tell us how business was during all that time, and and what has uh, and how your team has adapted. Sure. So obviously, with all the shutdowns that went on and everything, when that first started happening. Uh, you know, our, our factory that we get our supplies or our hot tubs from is, in, is just outside of San Diego. And as you know, California was probably one of the first and one of the strictest to shut down. So they were shut down for about two months. Luckily, we're a big enough company and had lots of product on hand that we're able to get through that. Uh, and it's actually the, the demand for hot tubs right now is unlike it's ever been. And pools is unlike it's ever been. Uh, you know, we're, we're booked out for building pools all of next year, um, as is probably all other pool builders in the area. Wow. Spas, were, again, we're lucky enough to have a large enough stock um, and, and able to finagle some things with manufacturer that might have been in the gray area, if you will, to get more in. Um, we're absolutely just fine. When they open back up, this is going on nationwide and possibly worldwide. The demand for hot tubs is incredible. So uh, we've been selling everything and anything that we have to people. And now we have uh, not a horrible waiting list, but waiting list where we got spas coming in, uh, unprecedented amount of spas coming in. I think we have 
40 trucks on order right now at about 15 to 18 trucks per load uh, that, you know, now's the time to come in and get one because there is a slight bit of waiting game. If you've seen anything in the manufacturing world right now, whether you're buying cars or you're buying appliances, fridges, there's issues, right? There's demand. We, we have plenty coming in though. So there's no problem getting them in. You just may not be able to get it tomorrow. Like we could have done a year ago. You know, you may just have to wait a few weeks, uh, a couple of months, but now's the time because demand is not going down. It, for next year, the industry's uh, expecting it to stay the same. Uh, so we could go on an 18 year demand or 18 month demand as it sits today. You know, it'll, it'll get better eventually, but you know, it's, it's a, it's a supply chain thing going on with any manufacturer. I don't care what it is. Go talk to anybody. Yeah. When we were first talking before we went live on this broadcast, I was hoping you'd take your phone around and show me the showroom. And you said you didn't have anything to show. No, I don't. We're doing everything virtual. I mean, people, we're still having people come in and we're talking to them because we're able to show them stuff. We have, uh, a pretty neat kiosk or a concierge program, if you will, where we can show you everything that, you know, is coming, all those types of things, but it's, it's virtual. Um, you know, who knew this pandemic was going to last as long as it did, right? If we yeah. had known, we would have kept some spas on our floor so we could at least show. Uh, and we've got some coming in that we've reserved for the floor, but it might be a month or two out before we can literally show them. It's just, it, it's great and it's, and it's bad and it's crazy. Yeah. Well, you know, you do have a great showroom there. Um, anybody who's interested in redoing a game room or putting a game room together, um, you also have, you know, billiards and darts and air hockey and foosball and shuffleboard. Uh, and, shuffleboard. and now you're talking about uh, classic arcade games, one-stop shop for you guys. Um, tell us a little bit about um, the culture of the company because I know you have employees that have been there 20 plus years and yep. that means a lot. And and then and then can you talk about what it means to buy local and especially from a local provider like yourself and, and kind of that service that's involved? Absolutely. So um, our, besides Jim, the founder, it's been 42 years. Uh, we've, we've got an employee in Twin Falls that started pretty early on with Jim. That's over 35 years now. Uh, and then I believe we have total employees <laughs> We're about 32 to 35 fluctuate and 10 of them are over 20 years. Wow. Um, another probably 10 to 15 of them are 10 plus years. And then, you know, the remaining 30% or whatever it might be are, are, you know, multiple years. We have very few, you know, as we're growing, we're getting new employees, you know, year or two year in, but that's a growth thing. That's not a going away type of thing. Um, you know, and, and we, you know, offer ownership stock in the company to a certain extent for employees that have been long term. So a profit sharing stock type of program. So it, it's been incredible. Uh, you know, it helps us out as a company to reach out, but it also helps out the employee, which is more important. You know, we call ourselves the spa team, you know, so we're literally a team and, and family. Everybody says family. So we say team because it, it, we don't want to be, you know, that type of stuff. But, uh, you know, it, it's just a great company. You know, I mean, that's why people stick around for 25, 30 years. You don't see that too much in a lot of small businesses. Right. You know, yeah. you know, or, or even in big businesses anymore with people that are able to, to jump jobs and that type of stuff. So, and I, I apologize, Paul, what was the second part of the question? Well, I wanted you to tell the audience how important it is to shop local sure. and, and some of the reasons why. Yeah. Well, you know, shopping local obviously helps the local economy. You know, the money stays here. You know, there's, there's spa shows that come into town, you know, and, and, and they'll sell spas out of uh, the fairgrounds or the, the Ford Idaho Center, but then they're gone. Your spa shows up, it goes on your, you know, driveway, and you never see from them again. And I can't tell you how many people we have come in after, you know, something like that happens you know, and hey, can you help me out with this? Can you help me with that? It's not working, having issues. They won't return my calls. Uh, got nobody to go pound on their desk, right? If, if we mess up, what? you walk in the front door and you pound on our desk and and, and, and we jump, you know, yeah. because we know that the customer is it. You know, we've got over 20,000 customers uh, and that's how we treat them. We, you know, I we treat them the way we're treated. If I have an issue, 
I want to be able to call somebody up or walk in their office and say, hey, here's what's going on. Great. Say no more. We're on it. We're getting you fixed. We're going to take care of you. You know, look at our Google reviews. You know, we've got over 800, I think, between the three companies, five-star Google wow. reviews. Um, we live it. We don't say it. We live it, you know, and, and, we, and we demand it of our employees because the customer – Customer and employees come first, right? Customers, then employees, then the rest of us. Um, it, it, just think about anything you've bought online and, and, and try to return, even if it's a small thing, 20, 30 bucks. Sometimes it's easy to do. Other times you're never going to get a call back. You never, there's people with spas that they bought either in a big box store or online or from one of these vendors that just pops in, pops out, been sitting on their back patio, never working for years. Yeah. You know, well, it's a big purchase. It's an important investment in, in your future. You know, the wellness of hot tubs and pools is incredible. You can speak to that, Paul. It's it's not just it's not just for parties. It's great for parties, but as we age, it's a wellness. And they, our manufacturer named them renamed themselves to to walk in wellness because it's all about wellness now. It's not just about having a box of water in your backyard anymore. It's what it does for you and your family. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm, I'm glad you mentioned that because our family uses it on a daily basis. And one of the things that Jim said when we were first, you know, investing in, in our wellness with the hot tub was that the family gets together and talks. Mm -hmm. it, we're not just, you know, we're, we're all busy. And um, what a great opportunity for me and my daughter or me and my son or me and my wife to actually connect after a long day of work. And we get to sit in and relax and have a conversation. And and it's in such a great setting. And like you said, the wellness piece is um, is unparalleled. Yeah, and, and what we say anymore is that the hot tub is a new family tape, dinner table, right? I mean, everybody's so busy. You've got kids, I've got kids. My, mine are grown now, so you know, not so much anymore, but one was running the soccer, the other one the volleyball, then you had something else at school and you had friends. You know, other than Sunday nights, we hardly sat down for dinner as, as a you know, a group until they were able to drive, but we get in the hot tub, phones are turned off, there's no TV on, there's no distractions, and, you know, usually when you ask your kids, how was your day? Fine. Right. You know, how was your mouth test? Okay. You know, or or they're grumpy and they're short. You get in the hot tub, how, never had an argument in the hot tub. No. In no. Life, that's the first thing you do. You go, you go uh. <laughs> when you have those true conversations, you find out, well, Billy was mean to me today, you know, or my math test, Dad, I didn't do so well, you know, it's okay, you know, let's, let's figure out what we have to do. Um, and the one of our favorite times as a family, and now just the wife and I at home, is mornings, you know, mornings. Most people think, okay, it's great to help relax you, put you to sleep, you know, the melatonin kicks in after you get out of the hot tub so you can sleep better at night, your restless legs are gone, but in the morning, gets the endorphins going, yeah. maybe a cup of coffee or an orange juice or whatever you want, but that is my absolute favorite time is you're listening to the world wake up, and especially with fall and winter coming, it's dark out, yeah. summertime it's nice, you get to see the birds, but now you go out there in the morning, oh, there's no better way to start the day. Yeah. Or well, yeah. And we're at home school currently still. And my oldest son, in between his breaks, he goes and sits in the hot tub. I think he's going to miss that when he goes back to in-person school. He's going to, I don't yeah. sit in my hot tub during my break. He, he should, you need to set up his video stuff so he can just take his class while he's sitting in the hot tub. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Oh, okay. Hey, you guys have been around since 1978. You've been a huge community partner. Um, and also a uh, supporter of Boise State Athletics. Tell us about that partnership a little bit and how long you've been in, engaged yeah, with them. Absolutely. Boise State, well, one of our partners, our CFO, Dave Cooper, uh, sorry, Cooper Norman, CPA firm, geez, 40 plus years ago. He's since retired from that, but he's a graduate, I want to say 1970. Yeah, I don't want to age him too much, but 72, 74, something like that. Uh, and he's been a booster of them ever since and uh, I went to school there so I've always you know had a soft spot in my heart but the opportunity arose when they built the new football facility especially because they've got a lot of uh, you know hydrotherapy tubs in there they've got a cold tub they've got a hot tub they actually have an underwater uh, treadmill you know that that like 
10 or 15 guys can stand on. And so you rehab in it, you know, cause there's nothing better for rehabbing than water. You know, it, it, we were born in water, right? We sat in water for nine months of our life before we were born. And so your body recovers better in water. And so we've been taking care of that ever since then. And, you know, supporting the Broncos, you know, we're the official athletic supporter of their, you know, of them, home team members, everything like that. Uh, so it's been a great partnership for us. I mean, it, there's nothing better in this town than Boise State, especially for those of us that love it. And I, I'm sorry for any vandals out there. It, it's, it's not a vandal. It's not an Idaho Boise State. It's really a, it's a community thing. You know, I love the vandals as well. I don't have any issues with them at all, even though when I went to school there, we never beat them in football. <laughs> That's how old I am. Uh, so I'm just glad to return those favors now. But, it's, it's you know, there's nothing better than giving back to community. As a matter of fact, every year, uh, last year, we, we donated to over 20 different uh, local charities, uh, different things, you know, there's some vet stuff that we did, the, you know, breast cancer with, with uh, you know, our friends over there at uh, Franz Witte. You know, we do a hot tub, pink hot tub for them. We, we donated over $25,000 to the community to over 20 wow. different companies uh, that, that need it. You know, we, we live here. We have to, you know, we've all had somebody affected with one issue or another, whatever it might be. Uh, and so there's no better way than to give back locally. You know, it's, it's, right. it's the reason why when you spend local, it, it gets processed. It just loops around. It's not. It's not. It's not done and in somebody's pocket necessarily. It comes back out of that pocket and goes over to the chamber, and it goes over to Western Heating and Air, and it goes over to Franz. Everybody else that that that's a chamber member, it gets spent and stayed here, and just circulates. Yeah, it doesn't disappear. It doesn't go over seas. It doesn't go to another state um you know it stays right here local so that's why it's so important to it's the shop local okay yeah that's the circle of life right it's the community mm -hmm. um doing business with community members that invest in their community it's that's bottom line that's what we need currently that's what we need to keep going forward too so it's so those companies like those big alberts the albertson's companies and winkos and 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 simplots that, that reinvest in our parks and our and in our community that enhances the overall um, Treasure Valley. So yeah, absolutely. Okay, Kyle, it has been awesome checking in with you today. Um, I, w go in there, see these guys, look them up online here. I got a little, um, if people can find you here at the spa team.com, call them, they answer their phones, they get back to you. And again, um, that service thing that Kyle was talking about, when you order a product from Snake River Pool and Spa, they take care of you um, and they're there for you when you need them. And it's easy actually to um, take care of these water uh, tubs and these swim pools. I can do it, you guys can do it. It's, it's not a big deal, um, you know, a treatment once a week. Um, and um, why don't we leave with the the new slogan uh, that you guys created. Uh, why don't you tell us what that is, Kyle? Well, we make it easy to take it easy. So, you know, that, that's got a lot of life to it. It's actually not a new slogan, Paul. That 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 goes back probably 35 years. What? That's how we live it. You know, we, we want you or customers to come in, uh, you know, and, and take it easy. You're not, you're not buying a hot tub or a pool or a pool table or a video game to make your life miserable. You know, right. you're, you're buying it to enjoy it. And, and we do that, you know, we're not perfect. You know, things that are handmade are not perfect, but we take care of them. You have an issue. We're out there most of the time, same day, you know, we, we take care of them and just go online and read the reviews and see what we do. It's, it's not us saying that it, it, it's, it's everybody else. I mean, we, we can say it all we want. People are going to believe what they want to believe, but it's people like you, Paul, and other people that are our customers that, that prove it. And we get more referrals and business from our customers than we do from advertising. That's how you do it. Okay. Kyle, thanks for making it easy to take it easy with you today. Uh, really appreciate your time. All you guys do for the community. Thanks for your over 25 years of membership with the chamber um, and your involvement with, with the greater community. Thank you, Kyle. Hey, thanks, Paul. Appreciate the opportunity to let everybody know, but we, we appreciate the chamber. They're a great, great company for us.
Awesome. Great partner. Thanks, you. Thanks, Kyle. Right. Tab the team for us and JJ as well. I will. See you, Paul. <laughs> Bye.